Daryl, was today less about the result and looking at the performance levels? It's always it? about the result. It's a shocking performance. A real bad performance uh, individually, collectively, as a group. Uh, it takes the, a bit of the gloss off the, the runner form we've had, to be honest with you, ending with a couple of defeats. Same as I said into my players there, or the whole group in there, all 29 of them. What have you done in the course of these 46 games to think that you warrant a place here next season? Because I'm excited, I really am. There'll be one or two tears shed for one or two genuine boys that might not make the cut on Monday. There'll be one or two right good principal points made to one or two players that I'll enjoy saying. Because for me, being a professional footballer is every single day living your life right, doing all the things right. And we've got a few in there, a few in there. And there's, there's quite a few lads in there who've done quite well for me over a period of the, the 18 games. But there's a few, few for me that don't don't do it justice and I can't wait and I'm excited to build for the future and I can't wait to get rid of the deadwood if I'm honest. Has some of them changed your mind either good or bad today? Listen I did I, I, on a purpose front when I came into this building I already knew about one or two players to be honest with you I just wanted to bring a clean slate and pull it all together the job needed doing and we need to make sure we're still in league two we've done that 60 points yeah pats on the back but we're 13th in league two not good enough, the whole group not good enough, but individually there's been some good players in that group and I've got some good players, so I'm excited for the future, like I said, can't wait to get Monday and Tuesday out of the way and then the rebuild's been going for a while to be honest with you, so looking forward to that on, a, on ending on a damp squid. Um, from what you just said, should we anticipate a clear out then? Is you can the anticipate whatever you want, you'll have to wait until Monday evening, won't you? So you can anticipate what you want, I've said I'll try and be respectful all the times. So all I'm saying is, is I'm judging this over the course of 46 games, I've been in here 18 games. Uh, the team's been consistently picked on a, on a regular basis, haven't they? The lads have done, done, done well over a period of time, there's a few changes, a few opportunities for the lads there today. It was a little bit rusty, so I'm certainly not blaming just the lads that have come into the team, because that's not right either. What I'm judging it and looking at is over the 46 games and whether they've done enough in their lifestyles, in their life, how they've conducted themselves and are they going to be better next season. And this the answers and answers of those that will be delivered will be delivered on Monday and we'll see where we're heading. So it's, it isn't just about ability and what they can do on the pitch, it's the character but, but, but and how yeah, they behave. Listen, it's that, but sometimes, quali well, obviously quality comes into it, you know, because we've, we've got some players got arts the size of lions, but are they ever going to reach the quality of being able to get out of this division? Do you understand me? So that's why I mean, there'll be one or two where they're not easy decisions because they have given me everything, the heart's been in the right place, but I've got to judge and assess whether they're going to be quality enough to take me forward and uh, we'll, we'll see and we'll all have the answers on, on Monday. I've got to ask you about Tom Pope, there's a lot of people might have thought this might have been his last game in a Vale shirt today, but what's, what's he offered to you away from what people might see on the pitch? Pope is great in the change, he's been great in the changing room, Tom Pope, you know he's a legend of the football club, uh, so obviously you know that conversation on Monday, we'll see which way that goes, uh, Tom like I said come in, trains hard, he's struggled with his fitness levels, obviously coming back from, from, from his arm injury, but everything has to be taken into account, not just on Tom Pope, on every individual, so uh, we'll see how things th things end up. What is in there that you feel you can build on, you, that you're not from a starting base, that you can take on and, and, and enhance rather than starting from a starting place? With? Well, if, you, if you're talking about the boys that are already contracted, Tom Collins is the sort of characters I want in this football club, Nathan Smith is the certain characters I want in this football club. Gibbos, the certain characters I want in this football club. They, you know, they're to name but three. Uh, they've been epitomised what I'm about. Gibbo's been unfortunate with his injuries, but if you're talking about attitude, application, and desire to be better, that's what we sort of want. And I want to build a squad of those players. How hard is it to do that, though? How do you find it? Well, listen, I've done it before, haven't I? So we'll try and do it again. I've done it four times. I've rebuilt squads. That's what I, that's what I do. That's why I'm a manager, and I'll be trying to do it here. You know about promotion. You know about that. I far too early to talk about next year in that regard but how do you go about putting together a team like that? Right, by proper recruitment, by proper balance in the squad, by proper balance of age groups in the squad, uh, positional sense, I mean you've seen out there today there's not, we haven't got left back, you know, we've, we've, we've gone into a 3-5-2 that's got us over the line, pushed us to 60 points but there's no, there's no left foot left back, Monty gets sent off, Fitz has been injured, 
you know, uh, right back struggle for. So we, we've got to make sure the balance of the squad's spot on. We've got to make sure the injury record's better, a lot, lot better, which has been terribly disappointing. Making sure the, the fitness levels of the boys is higher. And work, work started a while ago on that, and now we're moving forward with that. And the final thing to say is that, to emphasise, it isn't a feet-up time now for you or anybody else now. Carol said before the game about recruitment being key, and it, that job just feet now up, starts. Feet-up, Phil. There's no feet-up as a football manager, is it? So, like I said, Monday Monday will be sitting down with my players. Tuesday, the lads will be in for fitness tests uh, and making sure that when they do go away, they'll have certain targets to be hitting on the weight on the fat tests, all those bits and pieces. If they don't, I'll be hitting them in the pocket. But I'm pretty confident with a group that, that will be still be here. They'll be, be the right group.